In the next few minutes, I'll show you how to use the Java Pro to manage your server's business from the scheduling jobs to the invoice clients all in once. Let's get started. First of all, let's understand a little bit more about the Java. So Java Pro is a really powerful tool for service-based businesses offering features like the job scheduling, the client management, and the invoicing, and of course, the payments. Now it's built to help you streamline your day-to-day -day operations so you can focus on what you do best, which is working and scheduling for B only for Java. Now to get started here into Java, you have the link down below in the description to have your account totally for free for a few days. And if you liked it so, then you can try it out to change it and check out the pricing if you want to stick around with the Java Pro. There is a one user which costs us $149 per month, which is going to be giving you quotes, tracking codes, automated follow-ups, connecting your customers through SMS, automation location timers, and so much more. Usually the core should do it for people who are just getting started, which is only 29, but this is totally up to you. So once you click down below, it's going to be asking you to enter an email as well as a passcode, and you're actually good to go. Now that you have activated your free trial, Let's get started with the configuration of your Java account. So let's click here into the first and your last name and adding a phone number in order to continue. Then tell us about your business industry. So whether you are working, uh, I don't know, maybe repairing stuff or cooking, whatever, you can enter your company name. If it appears here, you can just select it and go for continue. If you don't have it, you can just manually enter the company name and we can search for the industry. If this is for the clean industry, trading, or other stuff, for example, painting, pest control, pool, sport services. And once again, if this one is not available, go for other and go for next. Now, the uh, business at the glance, of course, is gonna be asking you how many people are working into this company, how many years have you been into this business? This is usually for the application to understand what are your actual needs into the dashboard. So you can try it out to be totally honest and don't try to add more revenue than you usually have. Now, what is your top priority right now? This is totally optional. What you love to find out about Jaffa, how do you find out? I'm gonna just stick around with YouTube and go for get started. Now, inside the Java dashboard, this is where we want to understand how does the application works. So once your account is set up, you will see that the Java Pro dashboard is now been active. Let's close this. Here you can access your calendar. You can access the client list. You have quotes. You can check out invoices. Each section is designed to help you stay organized and streamline your task. If I click, for example, into request, I can start by adding and create a request and track incoming work. So basically the request is, for example, when we are available to work, if this is uh, somebody that wants to work after a specific date of time. So let's start with our first uh, request for, you can type here a name of a client, or you can just add a recurring client. So you can, if you're gonna be having more jobs by M. So Mr. Whatever, company name, the main title, add the email address. So I have the request of the title, so basically into this request, it's let's say for example, like a really small invoice. So into the request title, let's say for example, service number one, we can add the property address, the contact details and the request dates. Now into the service details, I can provide as much information as I can possibly can. For example, let's go for uh, client needs uh, service number one, add location number one, one, two, three, four, whatever. So take your time to fill this, of course, as much as you can. And here now I have the availability. So which day will be the best uh, for the assessment of the work? So I needed to do this by the next Monday. And what is another day that works for you? Maybe on Tuesday. What are your preferred arrival times? I can get the, uh, the morning only, for example, and I can add until the nuts. We can go, for example, like we discuss earlier, about the payment, which is um, $50 per month, for example, or per hour, whatever. So we can drag our files here if you have a specific file that we want to upload, for example, a PDF file. You can link to noted to related, for example, some quotes, jobs, invoice, whatever. So I'm gonna save the request and I'm gonna send this later for my client. 
Now let's move on into the next step, which is checking out the schedule. Now we know how to add clients. We know how to create requests. Now let's click here into the quotes. Into the quotes, I can check out all the conversion sent converted, which can be helping us, of course, to win new works. So to create some winning quotes, I have this professional getting quotes results. So basically, for example, let's say that we can add uh, this job title, let's say service number one, the quote number one, the rate opportunity, salesperson would be myself, and I can import products or services. Now, if you wanted to add your first services to make this recurrent, you can add this from a CSV file, or you can just do it manually. For example, the example labor, I select it, I have the service, the name, the description, which is the cost, uh, any markup, you need more per, per price, you can upload an image, and if you wanted this to be exempt from taxes. If you want to enable online booking, you can do it so, for example, how many, how much should be getting charged for the service and much more. So we can import causes, we can import the products and import the services and all of this should be available here into the product and services. When you click into the name, here should be appearing the service that you have just added. So you have the quantity, the unit price, I have the total, you can add photos and you can add more line items. Now here's the subtotal, you can add a discount, you have a discount for your client, you have taxes and the total. Now the client messages, the contract disclaimer, until notes, and much more. Let's hit into select the client, the one that we have created first. And we have a property for Mr. Daily Template, for example. So this is, for example, pro property number one. I'm going to just select this title and go for create properties. And this is, for example, for an internal workout home. I'm going to be using that one. So if I hit now into save and send this, I can convert this into job, send us an email or mark as a wedding response. If I hit here into the option that says convert to work, this should be appearing now into the left section that says jobs. Now jobs are elements where we can just start creating jobs to our customers, recurrent elements, and we can try to add them directly into our calendars where of this is for one off job or just a recurrent job. So if I'm gonna be working with Mr. Daily Template, for example, for a lot of time, for a few weeks now, I'm gonna change this for recurrent job. I'm gonna be starting today from the start time and the end time. From 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. The arrival windows repeat, let's say, um, weekly and Thursdays for the next two months. So I have a total of nine visits. This is something really great about the application that automatically is going to be giving you this information. When it starts, when it finished, the total, the team who's going to be working with me, or if this is only for myself, this is the invoicing per visit, or if this is a fixed price. And if I hit into fixed price, for example, I have the total, the line items, and the total price. So basically, I can just change this per visit, which is much more easier. We can add until the notes, and then I can just hit into save my job. And my job should be now saved it into my Java. So that means that I can have the email booking confirmation to send this into the client. So the client should be receiving this amount of information. Everything that we have just created, the line items, we're gonna be getting started, and whatever. So we can change stuff later on if you wanted to, if I go for uh, my jobs. But let's click now into the upper side, which is the schedule. Into the schedule, you can see that we now have our first adjust, which is with the recurrent Thursdays. So I have one visit, one visit, one visit, and one visit here. So basically I have this invoice reminder automatically added. So this is your first reminder to invoice for job number one. So at the end of every month, we should do our invoice. That is totally optional. So now that you know how to create your very first job, to have your client, to create some schedules and requests, let's move on now into the marketing. Now the marketing should be giving you access to all of these tools where you can actually check out your performance into this application, how it will uh, went into the flyer, into Instagram, into Facebook, into Google, into referrals, when you can, let's say, for example, use all of your work to promote it so people can discover your work through all of these socials. 
we are not going to be focusing a lot in that because this process is a little bit different uh, than just focusing to do whatever it matters, which is the Java. So let's move on into the reports. Now into the reports, I can check out how it went well with the financial reports, all about my works, my clients, expenses, uh, my products, the request and the recurrent jobs. So click into one option which you like to see and you will be seeing the display of all the information about your recurrent jobs. When you need this information to add it into a, let's say for example, like an Excel, whatever, just go over here for the email CPS, select all the columns, and you can just receive this information into your inbox in just, let's say 15 minutes. So you can use this into another application if you need it. So, so it's gonna be really great to use the report. And the expenses, the expenses of course, of how much do you have just spent in by tracking what's been purchased and all this information should be imported in here. If you're working with more than one people and you're gonna be having a lot of expenses, then you must have this document to check out how much money you have um, spent on a lot of tools for the job, whatever. And lastly, just the timesheet. The timesheet is gonna be great for people who are working for you. So let's say for example, that Mr. Daily Template has the service number one and I am just starting from f 5 or 3 p.m. and I don't know which is the end of it. So I hit into a start. So that means that right now at this moment, I am just getting started and I am just starting to work with Mr. Daily Template. When I finish my work, I can code for stop the timer and here's gonna be checking out my information. So basically this is for people who are gonna be working for you so you can track the work and you can track time automatically. So the location time helps you to team manually accurate, approve time sheets, confirm the payroll, all of those into just one place. And of course, the applications. The application, this is the marketplace where you can just link your Java with more apps. For example, Zapier, where you can just do some automations. We have the company count to go for photo-based solutions. We have the QuickBooks online. There's a lot of applications that we can use, but a lot of people, of course, actually don't use this because it's too much. So guys, this is how we can actually create some elements here, invoicings, uh, jobs, adding clients, requests, and so much more. So basically guys, now that you have all the full overview of how to use the Java Pro for your business, from the scheduling to the invoicing, basically into the recap, we have now checked out the dashboard, check out the scheduling, the invoicing, the reporting features, generating your first job, and manage them directly inside the schedule version of the Java. Everything directly to cover for your business. So if this video helped you, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel to check out more videos like this. If you have any questions, you can leave it down below in the comments below. Thank you guys and see you next time.